Hey there, I'm Heidi Swap coming to you from the Summer CHA, and this is Latest and Greatest, sponsored by Scrapbook Expo, and I'm thrilled to be here to show you guys my new ColorShine colors in action. So ColorShine has just had its one-year anniversary of the original 12 colors, and at this show, I brought out six new colors that I am just super excited about. Because ColorShine has always been just really vibrant, intense color, it's fun to be able to have a lighter side of color shine. So I'm here to show you two colors and one way that you can really mix the new colors with the old colors to get new effects. So I want to show you this little wood album. This is actually a make and take that we've been doing here at, at the Summer CHA show where we have stenciled the this pattern right onto the wood album and then we've used the dark mint green color from the original set and then the sea foam and also the white color to create an ombre type of a, of a result here on the front of my album. So I just want to show you how easy that is. So I've taken a wood um, album and I've already stenciled it using white acrylic paint and Mod Podge mixed together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually spray the bottom of this project with the, with the original mint green color. So I just want like the bottom third to have that nice, really vibrant color. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray the top approximately third with the white color shine. <clears throat> now the white color shine isn't necessarily to make it white. I mean, it, it will, but it's really, I've used it to fade out the color. Um, a lot of people ask me, do you water it down? Never water down your color shine. That's bad, bad. So, but you can use the white and that will really bring the intensity of the color down. All right, now I'm going to take my seafoam color, which is just the most yummy, creamiest color of mint green, and I'm going to fill it in the center. And I really want it to overlap both the dark color and also the white. And I'm going to give it a minute to kind of soak itself in. And I'm going to even put a little bit more white on the top. Now the cool thing about, about color shine is that you can keep layering the color and it will continue to react. So if you feel like you, know, you want it to be lighter or darker in one place or another, then you can, then you can do that. All right, I'm just going to dab it a little bit. And when I hold it up, you can see that I have created that really fun faded color look with three simple steps and I love that about the new color shine sprays. So these sprays will be available mid-September and um, they are the latest and greatest. Mm -hmm.